Our story today is about an athlete who went from being a legend to a villain, an icon of the sport to a tainted star, a decorated medalist to a suspended Olympian. The reason? Cruelty towards animal. The sport, of course, equestrian, dressage. And the athlete, one of Britain's biggest stars, Charlotte Dujardin. She has been banned from the Paris Olympics over whipping a horse. After an old video of Dujardin training a young rider emerged, the International Federation of Equestrian Sports has suspended the athlete for six months, banned her from the Paris Olympics. The young rider who was being trained herself filed a complaint against the star athlete. Everyone in the world is stunned. No one expected this from an icon like Dushadan. Equestrian sports, one of the most delicate categories in the Olympics. A sport where the leash may be in the hands of an athlete, but the real power rests with the horse the athlete has to ride. The sport is basically centered around harmony and precision, especially in events like dressage, where the winner is judged on how the horse and rider combined perform a series of events, a sight that's very poetic and pleasing to the eye. Imagine a horse doing the tricks and specific movements with precision upon subtle guidance by the rider. The best combination is one where it feels the rider and the horse are in sync and as one. So it comes as a shock when a sport that personified beauty bears a brutal side to it. That's how shocking it was when a video showing six-time Olympic medalist Charlotte Dujardin's whipping her horse emerged. The video was from four years ago where she was giving a private lesson to a young 19-year-old rider. It's alleged that the British star hit the horse 24 times though the video shows her beating her horse around 10 times. But I guess the count is immaterial. After being hesitant and reluctant for years, the young rider filed a complaint with the International Federation of Equestrian. And once the video was circulated online, Dujardin herself pulled out of the Paris Olympics. A video has emerged from four years ago which shows me making an error of judgment during a coaching session. I am deeply ashamed and should have set a better example in that moment. I have made the decision to withdraw from all competition, including the Paris Olympics, while this process takes place. The FAI later found Dujardin guilty and the video evidence was enough for the Federation to suspend her for six months. We are deeply disappointed with this case, especially as we approach the Olympic Games in Paris 2024. It is our responsibility and crucial that we address any instances of abuse as equine welfare cannot be compromised. We believe this action reaffirms the FEI's commitment to welfare as the guardians of our equine partners and the integrity of our sport. This is not the first time the sport of equestrian has come under the scanner for animal abuse. Two years before the 2012 London Olympics, training sessions for horses showed the neck of a horse being bent. Young riders have often been seen hitting and beating their horses under the pretext of discipline. And that's why PETA and other organizations have often called for the sport to be banned from the Olympics. In that video, when Dujardin was training the young rider, even the trainee felt something wrong about the act of beating the horse. But since Dujardin was such a decorated athlete, she felt maybe this is how things were done. The video, though, has enraged many online. Equestrian is a sport that has been passed down the ages. There were always stains raised on its place in the modern world. But just the beauty and breathtaking displays of an ancient discipline let this stay through the decades. But an act by one of the legends of the game has brought all these questions and cruelty to animals to the forefront. Certainly not what the sport wanted. The FEI may have been swift in taking a decision on this matter. But if Dujardin's video hadn't gone viral, would the sport and its custodians think of guidelines and securing the future of this sport? Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians.
It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Ham, coming to you live from the nation's capital. 